For decades, human beings have played games against computers. At first, computers struggled, but then they started winning. Watson, what is Creed? Yes. And now they've become so dominant that they're raising doubts about the future of humanity. The latest emblem for existential dread is Google's DeepMind project, which created AlphaGo, an AI program that's become unbeatable at the most complex strategy game on the planet. While the game of checkers has 10 to the power of 20 possible outcomes, and a game of chess has 10 to the power of 40 possible outcomes, Go has more than 10 to the power of 80 possible outcomes. AlphaGo is trained to analyze situations itself by breaking the game down into tiny parts and visualizing all possible moves. Last week, it played the world's best Go player, 19-year-old Ke Jin, with the help of a human handler. AlphaGo beat him three times, and after doing what it was designed to do, retired from the game. If a system like AlphaGo can learn all the moves in Go well enough to beat a person, then it has the potential to replace lawyers and accountants among dozens of other jobs. It might be perfect, but it has no way to navigate human politics. The Chinese government banned the live stream after Zhe lost the first game. The loss to an American company was an attack on the country's pride. The Chinese government has made a big effort to proclaim that they are moving ahead rapidly in artificial intelligence, that they will be the people who dominate AI. They have the dreaded Google come in and beat uh, China at its own game. It's just piling insult on top of insult. It's kind of amazing. But it was more than a national crisis.